Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton. Air defenders from Area 4 conduct training on the M2 machine gun. Army Sergeant Carlos Gonzalez reports from the shooting range. Soldiers from the 2-1 Air Defense Artillery Battalion train on becoming proficient gunners with the M2 50 caliber machine gun. Knowing how to operate the M2 machine gun is a pivotal skill for all soldiers. I think it's a very important skill that they need to have. They go down range, you never know where they're going to be, what they're going to be doing, what they're going to be dealing with. If someone's on a 50 cal, they get injured, they can't operate it. It's their responsibility to jump up there, get it back up, get it running. They got to know how to operate it. They got to feel safe behind it. They got to they be confident with it. The 50 cal range is designed to build confident team members to skillfully employ the massive crew served weapon. My favorite part about all this training is seeing these brand new soldiers, first time behind the weapon, love seeing them learn about it, build confidence with it, fire it. I ask them, you know, how'd, how'd that make you feel? And they're just, they're pumped up from it, they love it. I love watching that. I love seeing that. The M2 is the largest of the small arms inventory. With the M2, these air defenders can wreak havoc on an attacking enemy. Shock effect. Uh, direct fire, power, shock effect. It is a critical uh, force protection asset for us. It enhances our survivability on our tactical sites, increases our ability to provide site security and continue uh, the air and missile defense fight uh, while repelling any sort of ground attack. The 50 cal goes hand in hand with the 2-1 ADA battalion model, stand or die. Army Sergeant Carlos Gonzalez, Rodriguez Range, Korea. The M250 caliber machine gun has been serving alongside soldiers since the early 1900s. That was your Korea Update. I'm Air Force Sergeant Jeff Howerton.